The abbreviation CSU DSU stands for Channel Service Unit and Data Service Unit. And this is a device that sits between the circuit connection provided by your wide area network provider and to the router on the other side. There's a conversion that has to take place when it comes off of that digital wide area network connection and it's able to now convert that into something your router can understand. The CSU part of this, the channel service unit, is the one that's facing the provider. Although this is in a single box, there are really these two separate processes that take place, and that CSU is the one that's connecting to the network provider side. The DSU part, or your data service unit, is the one providing data for your customer premises equipment. It's providing data for your router or providing data for whatever device you have on the other side that's receiving information across the wide area network connection. This can be a physical device, like the picture we have here, where it has different connections on the back, and we're sitting right between the DMARC and the router. But many routers will have the CSU DSU built right into the router connection, so you would go directly from the DMARC connection on the wall and plug directly in with a patch cable into your router. From the DMARC, we're usually plugging into the CSU DSU with a standard RJ45 type cable, but the wiring that it's using inside of that is a standard called RJ48C. So if you look at the specifications for your CSU DSU and you see on the back it looks like it has a standard type of RJ45 connection, don't be thrown by that. It's really the different wiring that it's using. This is not using the same pins as your Ethernet connection. It's using a different set of pins and those standards for the wiring is called RJ48C. From the device, the CSU DSU device, to your router is probably a serial type connection then. This particular link on the back of this CSU DSU is this big block. It's a V.35 type connection. It's a serial type connection. You might also see RS-232, those big 25 pin serial connections on the back of a CSU DSU. But that's what it's doing. It's simply taking the signal, the digital signal from your wide area network, and it's converting it and sending it down a serial connection that almost any router can then understand. You may also have on the back of your CSU DSU these little jacks, these monitor jacks. And if you're using diagnostics equipment, this is a great place for you to be able to tap into that, that connection, that wide area network signal going over that link to be able to monitor the traffic. That way you're able to work with your wide area network provider to determine if the problem happens to be on your applications that you're using or if it happens to be on the wide area network signal that's going out across the WAN.